There's something new to consider when buying or leasing a car. Will it run on gas or electricity? You may soon want to go with electric because the General Assembly is considering incentives to encourage drivers to go green. WJZ is live right now. Political reporter Pat Warren explains this is a proposal backed by the governor. Pat. That's right, Rick. Governor Hogan calls it the Clean Cars Act of 2019, and today he tried one out for himself. Fill her up or plug her in. The latter is at the top of the governor's list. Governor Hogan took a spin around Skate Circle with First Lady Yumi behind the wheel in a plug-in electric drive car using fuel cell technology. It's the kind of car he wants drivers to get a tax credit for buying, part of the effort to expand clean energy and cleaner air in the state. We have uh, legislation that uh, will double the amount of money that we're investing in um, and electric vehicles and, uh, and charging stations and to expand tax credits for uh, both of those kinds of things. But as one driver told us in a previous report, his concern is where do I plug in? That's the problem. I mean, I live in an apartment, so an electric car might not be good for me. These tax credits go also for charging stations, which will make it um, more, more accessible for everybody to be able to, a lot of people don't buy uh, some of the technology because there's no place to charge up your cars. The other big question was, how was the ride? You know, I didn't get to drive. Uh, I'm really glad that uh, my wife was the one driving the car. I think that was probably at the behest of the state troopers. It's amazingly smooth uh, and quiet. You, you, you really can't tell that the car's even turned on. There have already been hearings on the Clean Cars Act in the House and the Senate. The bill doubles the tax credit funding available from $3 million to $6 million. I'm Pat Warren reporting for WJZ.